bear barbecue <laughs> jamboree. A lip smacking. I don't know. Whatever. That song's always stuck in my head. One of three. Is that one of the three songs that plays here? I no. don't even know. No, it's a like whole got new a world. In me. You've got a friend in me and Super Cal. Thank you to Guy Selga who sat here on opening day for a long time and shazammed everything. The rest are just regular country. Actually, nothing's playing right now. So maybe they already shut it off. I don't think this area ever had music. I think downstairs it's only downstairs, only? yeah. I guess in that case it doesn't really matter because I like to sit upstairs. It's dark and dreary. And you're also next there. to the bathrooms. So this used to be the, this, uh, this was just the Hungry Bear restaurant previously. It's now the Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Uh, just reopened on Friday, October 25th uh, with a more overt Country Bear theme. The Country Bears have always been part of this in bear country though, and that the restroom signs downstairs always had the characters. The sign behind the ordering area always had the characters. So they were always a part of this, uh, going back to uh, when it was five. christened with, uh, yeah, it didn't open with the country bears, it opened later, but it's o they've always been kind of a part of it. But yeah, Gomer's Lair downstairs. And uh, Trixie's there. powder room, I think? Probably, I don't know. Is it Trixie's or Teddy Bar? No, I it's think Trixie it's, it's Trixie, yeah. Okay. Teddy Bar has a swing. Up okay, yeah, because she has her swing and arcade over. She had the arcade. Well, she's, oh, she's, the sign's it's still, still there. I forget that, that it was a real thing. It was nice of them to leave it. I like that they left it. Uh, but we're going to try, like Zootopia says, which ties into this, of course, somehow, uh, try everything. So we're going to try everything. I have to find the menu. I think we should start with the the, the platter. Would Read the platter. There, okay, the smoked barbecue combo platter, which comes with um well you choose oh you choose is that what it is and you okay. can even for an additional fee add a third meat if you want it i found out um, but we picked two things that are not in our other dishes which would be the ribs and the sausage could you read the description pork spare ribs no there's not <laughs> that's just what comes with the kids meal version you got another so, train coming that's fine they can go by while we talk just check out these people on the train this is just white bread. You want bread? Let's throw it to them. You want bread? Bread for the train? Um, obviously, uh, so there are sauces separately. The ribs look very bare, so I'm not really willing to try them without barbecue. Well, I, I guess let's do it. I'll try one, yeah. Let's try one without sauce. Oh, it's very... Dry? Mm hmm Oh, wow. The exterior is dry. The inside's actually pretty juicy. That's quite good. I don't know, there's not a lot of flavor, it's just salt. I got some like onion mm. on mine or something. I'm gonna try. Here, you want this bite? This has like some of the... No, it's all right, I'll try this one. I'll get some sauce on there. It's worth mentioning there's also pickles and jalapenos and... It's all pickled. It's pickled jalapenos, pickles, and pickled onion. And pickled onion, okay. It's like a little pickle platter. Sure. Um, this, which sauce did you say this This is the spicy, this is the golden, and then this is the I'm regular. I'm gonna try the spicy sauce. I, also, I wanna see how spicy go. the spicy is. How spicy is it? Oh, yeah. You're good. Yeah. Do what you want with it. It's got a little kick to yeah. it. With sauce, I see the, the ribs work. Let me try a little bit of the regular barbecue. It definitely has a kick to it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's three sauces over there. A regular barbecue, a golden, and a spicy. The regular barbecue sauce is nice, really tangy. Is it? Really sweet. Spicy one has none of the sweetness, just a, like a peppery kick. Um, and I, I guess let's try the golden. I guess ribs are the best thing to try this on, probably. Let's try a little bit golden. I need a napkin already. Golden's gonna be mustard. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Let me try this. For counting service ribs, these are fine. I'm gonna go three out of seven. They're solid. All right, let's try the beans and the coleslaw. I hear the beans are very good. People have said good things about the beans. So the cashier said to me, she's like, are you doing a review? I was like, yeah. Could you tell I ordered the whole menu for two people? Uh, uh, but she, she asked, and I said yes, and so she talked, but she's like, I really liked everything. I was like, 
Um, and she said specifically the beans. She says, I don't like beans. I don't like baked beans. And I really like these. I'm with her on it. I, I think they're real solid. Not going to change your life, but they're, they're pretty They're pretty good. They're really, like, I don't want to say undercooked, but like they have, like, it's not like, like your usual baking where it's just, like, mush. These they're have, like, a little soft. texture. They're, they're, a little te they're a little chalky, right? I don't know if that's good or bad because I'm not a big baked bean guy, but I'll give them a four. I like those. All right, coleslaw. What? Now, a, a viewer of ours sitting over there said she loves coleslaw, but she didn't really care for this coleslaw, so we're going to see. Oh. I don't know if that's what that's supposed to taste like. It's like just vinegar. Yeah. It's not... That, that tastes like it's, it's missing an ingredient. It's not creamy at all. It is literally just vinegar over... Some sliced vegetables. Yeah. It's light and refreshing. It's nice for a hot day, but it is just a burning vinegar flavor, essentially. I, don't know. I like spice, and so I like a vinegar flavor like that, but I don't think that's what that's supposed to be. I'll give those a two. Let's kick the ribs up to a four, Billy. Kick the ribs up to a four. I think I was a little mean with three. Four is, like, good, but not great. So, four. I'm sure the jalapenos are good. I don't know what I... I guess I could have made, like, kind of a sandwich. Not with ribs, but with the <laughs> sausage. I'll try a pickle. Nice spicy jalapeno. Mmm. They're sweet pickles. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Very nice. I was fully expecting them to slice up one of the giant pickles they have, but no, those are like their own so thing. The sausage is sliced uh, somewhat through, not all the way. Um, It allows you to control your sausage distribution. <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Standard, but it's cooked right. The um, casing isn't too thick. I have an idea. I'm gonna try this with, I want to try this with the mustard sauce. Okay. Sure, it's good as barbecue. You can mix and match whatever mm. you want. My mouth's burned a little bit from the jalapeno. I'm gonna have a tiny bit of this plain old white bread. Is right? It's just white bread? It, as if I opened a bag of Wonder Bread <laughs> and ate it at the table. Just a little slice of America. Wow. So again, with the platter, you can. there are other options. You can also get, uh, I wanna make sure I'm right. Uh, pulled pork or beef brisket, Ooh. which is on the sandwiches we're going to have, which is why we didn't get it on the platter. I'd probably go with those, too. I'm not a huge ribs guy. I'm not either, but that's why I got these two, because they came on the sandwiches, so... Okay. The sausage is good. Can't, don't want to have things five times. Assuming the other stuff's good, I'd probably get... If I was to add a meat, I'd probably get the sausage, the rib... Or the sausage, the pulled pork, and the brisket. Let's see if we like them. Let's see if they're good. It's hard to mess up brisket too badly when you have barbecue sauce. Famous last word. <laughs> the barbecue pulled pork sandwich, a tangy barbecue sauce, coleslaw, and B&B &B pickles with uh, beer-battered fries. Well, I guess I'm just going to pick up the sandwich. Yeah, go. good luck. It's been... It's no, it's, the bread is holding. Is it really? It's wet, but it's holding. <laughs> Everyone's favorite, wet bread. Thoroughly sauced. Give me this. So these are new buns for Disneyland? I don't think these are the usual buns. I could be wrong. They taste like, the, yeah. They're, they're a bit buttery. They taste like I the like King's them. Hawaiian buns. I don't think quite that sweet, but there's definitely a sweetness to them, and it works well. Pork is cooked right, it's tender, it's juicy. It doesn't have the most flavor, but the other no, stuff covers it. But again, it's a barbecue restaurant, so I've got to kick the barbecue sauce on here, right? We like these barbecue sauces. So, you know, slather it, folks. Um, Which one are you going to put on we it? We're going to try the fries. I, I mean, we could do it. I was just going to tell people. I mean, I, we know what the sauce tastes like. Well, I'll do some. Here we go. Squeeze it on in. For science. Mmm. Mm. 
Those aren't your typical counter service fries. Those are really good. Well, hold on, we didn't get there yet. Oh, sorry, I thought you said that shit. Those are the beer battered fries. Obviously with the sauce, it's whichever one you like, it's gonna amp it up. It's solid, it's a four. I'm not blown away, but it's good. All right, beer battered fries. Oh my God. Right. These are a big departure from fries anywhere else at Disneyland Resort. These are very good, these big thick, big wide, a real crunchy exterior, soft inside, and beer battered. Those are spectacular. I love them. We dip those in the barbecue sauce. I was thinking the same thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm more of the sausage. Just come get some fries. Next up is going to be this is the burger. Uh, a smoked Angus beef burger with pulled pork. So the pulled pork is back, this time in burger form. Uh, American cheese golden aioli. Pickled red onions, B&B pickles. That's... Uh, bread and butter, crispy onions with beer battered fries. Um, we got actually, you can pick a cutie's mandarin orange or the coleslaw. Um, you're gonna see the coleslaw in the video for this item. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. Is there anything special about the burger patty? Because it doesn't look like a regular burger it's patty. It's the same as those. It's this, it's gonna be this buttery roll. No, the patty, the, the oh, actual. The patty? No, it looks, okay. that looks regular to me. Looks a lot thicker than the, the regular counter service one. Maybe. I'm fine. The Tom Corliss sketch raises back. It's fine. <laughs> Again, it's, it's going to need the barbecue sauce, because otherwise, it's a perfectly okay fast food hamburger patty. The buttery bun works. I like it. And they're, they're griddled under. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Um, pork is the same. It's still juicy and tender. Not particularly flavorful. Um... So yeah, you gotta put barbecue sauce on there. I don't, oh, let me do the mustard. I'm gonna do the mustard. I feel like that'll go well on it. I have no idea. I will get yelled at in the comments as usual. It's good, you wanna try it? I'll try it, sure. The crunch of the pickles, it's, I'm gonna give that a four too. It's, it's nothing outrageous. So, so far I'm feeling safety restaurant. And what I mean by that is at Epcot they used to have the Liberty Inn. Liberty Inn was hamburgers and hot dogs hamburgers and chicken nuggets in a park that is full of cultural food, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, etc. You could have all sorts of things. Electric umbrella, same thing as Liberty and kind of safety food, right? One for, uh, each for, land. for the picky people, there is something familiar, not foreign to them. Um, so far, that's what I'm getting from here, which I don't know is far off of what Hungry Bear was before. I was about to say, it yeah. It was hamburgers and funnel cakes and things people at this park would be very familiar with. Um, so that's, that's how I'm feeling so far. So I'm not blown away by anything, but everything is solid and acceptable and I think will make those people happy if, if you need something for the picky eater in your group. Where Hungry Bear always succeeded in recent years was their seasonal stuff was always fantastic. Yeah. So I'm really curious what the, they're gonna get here. Yeah, I, I, I have high hopes for that. I just need a mason jar without, like, don't get me wrong, I love Humphrey the Bear, I'm glad he got a mason jar. I, it's time for a big owl mason jar. That's also been there since they closed. Yeah. Okay, uh, so because we love the fries so much, I'm moving on to the loaded fries next. Smoked pulled pork, again, queso sauce, pickled red onions, pickled jalapeno, cilantro, and scallions. I'll let you go to town on that one. I'm good. You're good? I don't, I, I hate queso sauce. Like, I just, ugh. I'm going to get some barbecue sauce on here. I'll have some of the bread in the meantime. I will tell you, like, you, you filled the little paper cups with sauce. Um, based on how much sauce some of this stuff needs for the under seasoning, you may just want to take the whole tray with you up there and just shoot it onto your food in mass amounts. If you're like me, I just think it, it's a little, um, the stuff's a little under seasoned. I mean, I love these fries, so. Yeah. This is the best thing we've got. This is a six. Even, I will say, I think the pork. I'm going to have some without the barbecue sauce. No, it's not any more seasoned. The pork, for some reason, held a little better on here because it wasn't... I don't know if the, it being in the bun with all the stuff or being on top of the burger or whatever. The juice got out. 
It's a little juicy, a little better. Um, fries are still perfection. Lots of queso, lots of toppings, jalapenos. Really, really good combination. This is a six. I would come back for this. You're not going to have that. You don't like queso. I'm good, yeah. No queso for Arlo. Is, would, I, did you ever try the like the old loaded fries? They had like the the red pepper ones. Yeah. Is it better than that? Those were the seasonal thing. It changed all the time. No. I think they the always. I think they always added a loaded fries, but they had like a base one that was always like that red pepper one. You know, I'm thirsty, so we have one more hot food item left. But I'm gonna drink something. Uh, sparkling strawberry pickle lemonade. There's a pickle in there. Simply lemonade, Minute Maid strawberry smoothie. Flavors of lime, Sprite, pickle juice, and a pickle spear. So it's a smoothie? I think there's just like a drop of smoothie in there. You know what I'm gonna do? Is there a clean knife? We know what Disney drinks if they sit for four or five minutes. You have to do this. So I used the clean knife to do that. so good and weird. Is it? I'm tasting the smoothie, but it has a consistency of a, of a... Oh, that is good, Of wow. a regular drink. So it's got that like sweet smoothie flavor. The strawberry, it's... Something's playing on my phone. Oh, it's an ad from our website. <laughs> At least they made money. Read the website. Uh, what's interesting is it has that sweetness of a smoothie, and there's an art like an artificial strawberry flavor coming through there. Um, I really like that. I really, really like that. What's funny is I hated the also, original pickle lemonade. Yeah. That, I thought that was the most disgusting thing I'd ever had. Yeah. Just because it was just like a vinegar drink. Yeah. And I was really worried this was going to taste like that. It, this is... It's really it well worked. balanced. It works. Like the pickle juice on the back end. Yeah. You get that sweet strawberry smoothie up front. The pickle juice kind of lingers a little after. Yeah, it brings out the flavor of the strawberry a little better. This is a seven. <laughs> That's a seven out of seven. I love that. It's not too tart. Yeah. Not overly sweet. But what a... A combination I wouldn't, I, I'm sure people in the South have been drinking these forever, the combination of strawberry and pickle, and I'm just from the North and have no idea. Is, is that a thing? It must, they didn't invent it for this, it's a thing. Um, and with the lemonade in there, it's a perfect combination. I love it, I love it, seven out of seven. All right, now we'll go back to, well, let's do the other drink while we're here, why not? They're sold out of the strawberry shortcake lemonade, so I will come back and get that either later today or another day. Uh, but also there is lemonade iced tea, which is simply lemonade, gold peak on sweet iced tea, and a lemon wheel. They're out of lemon. No, he's down there. <laughs> he's in there. He's in the bottom. He's swimming. I'm going to give that a stir again. It's a nice, light, refreshing lemonade. It's not going to change your life, but it's... Plenty good. I don't taste the iced tea at all, which I'm not complaining about because I don't love iced tea that much. It's but definitely there. It's fine. Four. Yeah. I mean, if that sounds good to you, you'll like it, and if it doesn't, don't get it. But it's not a revolutionary take on it. Do they have like they have? The other thing is they have regular iced tea and they have lemonade. They do. So they do. You, how much was yeah. this? At six forty-nine. It's not that much more than. How much than are, a soft drink. I guess, yeah. They're four fifty nine. Mm, so like five forty nine for a large. But four fifty nine that size ish. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah. like two, almost two dollars. If it sounds good, you're gonna spend the two dollars. If not, don't. But it's nothing crazy. All right, let's have our last hot item, which is going to be the smoked beef brisket sandwich. Tangy barbecue sauce, pickled red onion. So the barbecue sauce is on here. Oh. It's saying the Barbecue sauce was on. Maybe there is like a very light barbecue sauce. I mean, it's wet, so something's in there. Um, this you can see it on this though. It's definitely there. I see it, but it's it's not doing much for it. Uh, pickled red onions and pickled jalapenos with beer battered fries. We did get the fries with that again. Um, let's try it. I'm we haven't tried the brisket without. yet, have we? No, we haven't. So this is a new item. I guess I'm gonna try just the brisket first because it's falling. Oh, good. Out a piece fell out. Here you go. Try that piece. I'll try this piece. A 
again, just under seasoned. Like, it's cooked right. It's not the most tender brisket I've had, but for theme park brisket, I was gonna it's say, certainly yeah. not bad. You can certainly do a lot worse. Oh. Would you all like some undercooked or some perfectly cooked under seasoned brisket? A little dry, but not overly. How does it go with the onions? The bread and such it helps it a lot. Oh, there's it's like extruding out the side. It certainly helps it. That's my favorite of the sandwiches. Mm. Like easily my favorite of the sandwiches. Where's the spice? Is this the spicy one? I don't know. This is the spicy one. Here, put put some of that. <coughs> you need more spice after the jalapeno? Yeah, put it. On that, just put it on that side, because I'm going to bite that side. Oh, uh, oh, no, put on the Here, go put it there. You're good. That's my side. I forgot. You're good. There we go. All right, I'm going to try a little with the spicy Ooh. sauce. All right. I give that a five. Because I was just going to say, I don't know if I'd get the brisket by itself. I think it needs the bread. I think the sweetness of the bread brings out something in it because by itself it was a neat you need to sauce you need to sauce everything here. everything here needs a bunch of the barbecue sauce i mean it's available so i can't knock them it doesn't cost extra no like it's like just as a base item it's it's all pretty plain we have two interesting dessert items the first of which what we're, we're gonna have to they i think they either i forgot to order or they didn't give us the corn things and so we're gonna find out in a minute uh, but in the meantime, while the dessert is here, we're going to do it. Uh, the desserts are going to be, first up, the banana pudding, 729. Bananas, whipped cream, crushed wafer cookies, dolce de leche, and toffee. Hungry bear, banana pudding, jamboree. A shoe slipping. Of course, banana pudding, a, a, an action, I'm not, sometimes I say this sarcastically, an actual staple of barbecue. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the best dessert I've had at this park in a long time. Oh my god. Seven. That's an eight. I, if I could, I would. What's funny is, I really like the banana pudding at Regal Eagle at Walt Disney World. That's one of my favorite quick service desserts. This, this, it doesn't even compete. Does that one have the caramel bits on top? No. Because that adds a lot to it. The hard chunk, the crunchy caramel, yeah. Those aren't even advertised. This is unbelievable. The the sweetness, the caramel, oh my god. Mm. Is it salted? It's like salted caramel. It has to be, yeah. This is this is top seven desserts at Disneyland, which is a tough competition. This is this place is the king of counter service of all the Disney parks in the world, and this is this might be number one. Let that away from me. What? Get it away from me. Finish it. Oh, please, I, gladly. That's a seven. That's the reason to come. Loaded fries, that, and this pickle lemonade. I'm good. I actually can't really have. I don't know if I drink the pickle lemonade up against that. You know what? Let's try. Do you want to? No, not with. That, oh. But I'm gonna chase it. it. Definitely cleanses the palate. That's gone now. All the flavors of that are gone now. Nothing like some pickle juice on your. The other dessert is going to be the funnel cake fries. Just with powdered sugar. Um, she upsold me the sauce to dip them in, which is oh, banana caramel. It's kind of, it's a dollar fifty, yeah. But then we got the discount. All right, funnel cake fry. May I interest you in a funnel cake oh, fry? Oh please. Oh, they're very. Mr. Wonka's latest creation. Try a plain one first. They, they had these before they, they closed, I this. think. Oh, did they? It said new. Oh, they had a funnel cake, something or other. They always had funnel cake. The seasonal ones were unbelievable. Those are so good by themselves. Yeah, those are amazing. The cinnamon sugar. Oh, is it cinnamon sugar? They're so soft. Lightly crunchy exterior, soft inside. 
they're perfect by themselves seven <laughs> but i feel bad because the banana pudding should be an eight then but yeah these are still a seven though <coughs> good i can't i don't think i got any of the banana it, because of the viscosity, yeah. you may not be able to. There, not a little bit. There we go, I got it. Oh my god. It's, if I hadn't just eaten that, if I hadn't just eaten that, you have, I would have that on. I'd absolutely have that on. Yeah. That being said, they're so good by themselves. So, we're gonna try the, the vegan this goes, dish. It goes even worse with, with this, though. We're gonna try the vegan dish in a second. But, overall, my thoughts are fine if you have a picky eater with you, most of this stuff. But the real winners are, if you really want something that's a sandwich, get the brisket one. Just put a lot of barbecue sauce Otherwise, on Otherwise, loaded fries, dessert, and a drink, and call it a day at Hungry Bear. All right, our logo, please All right. tell them. We, we don't have our corn riblets. <laughs> the corn riblets. Whatever shall we do. I misspoke. So these are not vegan because there's Parmesan on them. I would imagine you could get them without that. I don't know if the chili lime aioli has dairy in it or assume. not. I would assume. It should. What so. is the customized selection button? Is there like a, does it say like vegan? You could take the Parmesan can, okay, cheese yeah. off. So I don't know if that makes, we'll ask on the way out maybe. Um, but yeah, so these are just, this is a, this is a fad now, these. Uh, the corn ribs. I've seen the corn spare ribs at Horror Nights in Florida. Now we get this corn ribs plate again. Chili lime aioli, Parmesan, crispy onions, cilantro and scallions with coleslaw and beer battered. The fries are back. Good, we haven't had enough of them. Oh, and they're still warm. <gasps> Compared to what we had, yeah, because we tried for six minutes, things had to try, the, try, try one of them Try hot one super hot. The crispiness. Yeah. The fries are where it's at. Glad my braces are off. I can have this now. Oh, I didn't even notice. <coughs> For ages now. Take one. Uh, I'll try this. I'll try this one. Good. It's good. These are, this is excellent. It's better than it's all the meat. It's actually got a lot of spice to it. It is. It's got a nice kick to it. Corn is super fresh, very juicy. Yeah, these are, it's $15 for essentially a corn, a cob, a cob of corn and fries. It's a little steep, um, but it, these are excellent. I love these. Um, these are a six for me. These are very, very, ah, you know what? Give them the seven. Give them the seven. My compliments to the grill master Ursus H. Bear. The girl master. Yeah, so overall, I mean, my thoughts haven't changed. I would I would get the corn again. I would get the loaded fries. I like that drink. We gotta come try that other lemonade. Because um, if that was good, I think the other one's probably a show stealer. Uh, but that the funnel cake fries are excellent, but the banana pudding is a must order. One of the best desserts at all of Disneyland Resort. So, um, Overall, pretty solid. A little disappointing, maybe, but um, the things that were stellar, I will absolutely be back for. And as a regular menu, I definitely say it's better than Hungry Bear's non-seasonal menu. Yeah. Like it's still an upgrade. It's yeah, just... I don't, I don't disagree. Maybe not a huge one, we'll but see. an upgrade nonetheless. We'll come back. We'll have to come back to see what kind of seasonal stuff they do because yeah, that I'm sure. very excited for. Maybe there'll be a Baby New Year big ally. Oh my God, please for Christmas. What a, the hibernating blues, hibernating blue cheese burger. The summer, the great outdoors, something. If they do that, then I, 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 I really hope they I do would, that. I would love that. As promised, we're back. Me and Wendell up here are back for the strawberry shortcake lemonade, uh, which is going to be simply lemonade, Minute Maid strawberry smoothie, sweet cream topping, shortbread crumbles, and strawberry dust. It, I mean, it looks yeah, good. No, I'm going too weak strong. I have used it Oh my goodness. Maybe I should go straw. Uh, 
That is very, very, very good. Is there really that um, computer science majors? So with the cream, I definitely get strawberry shortcake. Without the cream, which I, as I sip through, you see I sort of eroded, I mean it, it reformed a little bit, but I eroded the cream layer on that side and as I got just pure juice, it was kind of that standard theme park, overly sweet, a little sticky and syrupy, you know, mixed drink. Obviously it's not alcoholic, but still they have all of those mixed drinks we get at the theme parks, like the Hollywood Studios ones, or even some of the ones at DCA events. Um, it's a sticky, syrupy drink with liquor thrown in. Take the liquor out and you still get that sticky, syrupy sweetness, right? Um, so it's not as light and as refreshing as the pickle lemonade, right? The strawberry pickle lemonade or whatever. I, I probably have those words in the wrong order. Either way, I like that better. This is still good. This is more of a dessert with this whipped topping. But with the breadcrumbs, the cream, and the drink, you do get like an overly sweet strawberry shortcake flavor. Um, so it works in that respect. It's fun to try. I don't know that I can drink this whole thing. I think once the whipped topping's gone, I'm not gonna want what's left. Kids might like it. I don't know. I'll give it a six. It's creative and fun, and it's good enough. Uh, and it fits the theme of the restaurant, right? They could have just had straight up strawberry shortcake, but at least they did something as an homage to strawberry shortcake, right? Your, your barbecue staple desserts are, you know, we had banana pudding. Uh, funnel cake could be, I suppose. I don't know if that's a staple of, it's a staple of like, if you go to the fair. Uh, and then um, strawberry shortcake and banana pudding are the two quintessential barbecue food desserts, right? So. Um, this is a close second. How's it going? This is a close second. Um, it's enjoyable. I say give it a try.